In this short video, we're going to look at grade beam design in Visual Foundation. In this example project, I have four piles that support two grade beams that support a slab spanning between the grade beams. If we take a look at the grade beams, we see they have a width of 12 inches. They project 12 inches below the slab for an overall depth of 28 inches. Looking at the project status, we see we have some problems under beam checks with failures in flexure, minimum flexural steel, and the transverse steel as well. Let's switch to the foundation design and see how we can fix those problems. When we switch, we see that both grade beams are shown in red, which means they failed at least one design check. I'm going to select both grade beams now and take a look at the Modify tab in the Project Manager. Under the Modify tab, we see we have a section for beam details. And in this section, I can select the specification type that we're going to use. I can also specify information about column widths at either end, as well as offset shear checks a distance D from the start, allowing us to move the critical section away from the face of the member. In addition, we see under reinforcement, we're using grade 60 rebar, and we have reinforcing sections for the top, the bottom, the side, and for shear reinforcement as well. Let's take a look at the top reinforcement. This section is divided into a continuous size and count, a size and count for the left third, and a size and count for the right third. For this beam, we currently have two number three bars, which is very small. I'm going to switch that to two number eight bars continuous and not supply any additional steel on the left and the right. For the bottom reinforcing, we're also using two number three bars, so I'm going to switch that to two number eight bars. After doing that, we see we're working on some de design checks, and when they're done, we can now see that under the beam checks, the flexure failures and minimum flexural steel failures have now gone away and we're well within unity of allowed values of 1.0. Let's move on to the transverse minimum steel and steel spacing. Transverse steel means shear reinforcement. And if we take a look under shear reinforcement, we see you're using grade 40 bars. They're number three bars, but we don't have any because their spacing is both is zero in all three sections. I'm going to switch that to 12 inches in each of the sections. And as soon as I change my spacing, we'll see we'll recalculate design results. And when that's done, we'll see now that all of our checks have passed. We don't have any transverse steel failures. Furthermore, we see that our beams now, instead of being red, are green. And if we look at the legend down below, we see green means we're close to one which is certainly an acceptable design. So that shows you how you design concrete grade beams in Visual Foundation.